boat pulls up to the shores of a futuristic city. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so his work is always, I mean, it's hugely inspiring to your imagination, but yeah. very challenging to realize, on, to realize on, yeah. on stage, right? Huh. So we, what we did was, um, because it was a touring production, mm -hmm. we, we went to Backdrops um, uh, and did a scenic painting. Derek okay. Holmes did uh, scenic painting to provide the backdrops of the places where uh, all the scenes of the play took place, mm -hmm. and you know, and we had uh, really interesting props hmm. uh, that were again, you know, a good props designer did like a good imagining of um, of uh, the robot army, so it ended up being like uh, robots on on a broom handle because of course everything has to be operated by the four actors, right? Hmm. And in a very low tech situation, mm -hmm. uh, so it was, but they were really sweet because they had uh, they had battery operated red eyes, so when the robot army attacked, it was, it was very cute. <laughs> yeah. uh, and the challenge of the ogre itself, mm. himself, um, the puppet was very challenging, mm. and we actually ended up having to switch out the puppet right after the opening performance because it was ju it just wasn't um, it, it wasn't. Uh, the actual puppet that we had, you know, its head was too heavy to hold the, uh, mm. to um, for the uh, operator to be able to use it and stuff. And, and when you're new to um, directing puppets, that's what I said, you know, that's what I was directing people and puppets. Mm. An important lesson I learned on that was to think about those eventualities as well, you know. Yeah, so those sure. are some of the challenges that we faced during the show, but I mean, it was a really mm. lovely looking piece of theater.